This is the study guide for section 10.4. We're looking at areas of triangles and trapezoids. Um, just like any study guide, they work you through two examples. So if you're not sure how to find the area of a triangle, they give you the formula and they work through how you're plugging those values in from this diagram. So if you're not sure how to do a problem, just reading that study guide is really helpful. Do the same thing for a trapezoid. So they give you your formula, they show you where the values get plugged in, and then over on the diagram you can see which values that you're using. Notice how we're not concerned with that value or this value. Let's try a few. Number two, we're going to find the area of this triangle. Now this is a right triangle. So you can consider that segment the base. You can consider that segment your height. And notice how your height is actually on the triangle. And that's always going to happen in a right triangle. So I'm going to write down the formula first. One half base times height. Remember the base and the height have to be perpendicular. And they are in this diagram. You have the right angle that's in between. The base length is 16. The height is 12 and 3 fourths. That might be tough for some of you to put into the calculator or even think about. Fractions just are scary apparently. Take the 3 fourths, just the fraction part of the mixed number, and type that in your calculator. 3 divided by 4. And your calculator is going to tell you 0.75. So 12 and 3 fourths is 12.75. Now we're going to type that entire expression into the calculator. So I'm going to, in the calculator I'm typing 0 0.5 times 16 times 12.75. And that's going to give me an answer of 102. Remember the number is part of your answer. The other part is your unit squared. We'll try number five also. Number five is a trapezoid. Specifically, it's a right trapezoid. Remember, trapezoids have two bases. Those are the blue segments. And then they have one segment that's perpendicular to both of them. That's the height. To find the area of a trapezoid, we're going to take one half of the height times the sum of those two bases. Our height is eight and a half. That's a little bit easier mixed number to work with. Eight and one half is the same thing as 8.5. The base lengths are 17 and 23. So I'm going to take a second, type this in. It gives me 170 for the numerical part of my answer. Don't forget, you got to have square units also.